Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we will celebrate the memorial of St. Hyacinth of Poland. We begin our celebration, we gather, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, you gave St. Hyacinth the grace to preach that he might draw the peoples of many nations to the light of truth. By your power, bring forth good works in our lives that all may be moved to give you glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judges. The angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abizrite. While his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to save it from the Midianites, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, the Lord is with you, O champion. Gideon said to him, My Lord, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are his wondrous deeds of which our fathers told us when they said, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? For now the Lord has abandoned us, and has delivered us into the power of Midian. The Lord turned to him and said, Go with the strength you have and save Israel from the power of Midian. It is I who send you. But Gideon answered him, Please, my Lord, how can I save Israel? My family is the lowliest in Manasseh, and I am the most insignificant in my father's house. I shall be with you, the Lord said to him, and you will cut down Midian to the last man. Gideon answered him, If I find favor with you, give me a sign that you are speaking with me. Do not depart from here, I pray you, until I come back to you and bring out my offering and set it before you. He answered, I will await your return. So Gideon went off and prepared a kid and a measure of flour in the form of unleavened cakes putting the meat in a basket and a broth in a pot. He brought them out to him under the terry bean and presented them. The angel of God said to him, Take the meat and unleavened cakes and lay them on this rock, then pour out to the broth. When he had done so, the angel of the Lord stretched out the tip of the staff he held and touched the meat and eleven cakes. Thereupon a fire came up from the rock that consumed the meat and eleven cakes, and the angel of the Lord disappeared from sight. Gideon, now aware that it had been the angel of the Lord, said, Alas, Lord God, that I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. 
The Lord answered him, Be calm, do not fear, you shall not die. So Gideon built there an altar to the Lord and called it Yahweh Shalom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people and to his faithful ones and to those who put in him their hope. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Please stand. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life but many who are first will be last and the last will be first brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated magandang umaga po sa ating lahat meron po ako napanood na patalasta sa tv ang sabi po doon ang caption niya is traveling makes man happy and that is true Traveling makes man happy, and that is true. Yun yung caption niya. And if, as I was reflecting on it, sabi ko, may katotohanan yung sinasabi ng caption na yun. Na kapag ka tayong tao ay nakakapaglakbay, ay eh merong kasiyahan tayong nararamdaman. Iba nga naman talaga yung feeling na nakakagalaw tayo, nakakapunta tayo sa mga lugar-lugar. Kaya nga siguro kapag narinig natin yung lockdown, ang bigat-bigat sa mga tenga natin, ang bigat-bigat sa mga puso natin, ang bigat-bigat sa isipan natin. Meron ngang nababaliw minsan ano, dahil nga sa lockdown, hindi makalabas. Kasi psychologically, talagang yung paglalakbay siguro nagbibigay ito ng kasiyahan sa atin. Nagbibigay ng kaligayahan sa mga puso natin. Kaya nga, isa sa mga... Siguro sa mga desires ng mga tao, yung mga 
inaasahan na ma-experience ng buhay ay makapaglakbay. Ay makapaglakbay. At siguro sa karamihan sa atin nandirito ay naka-experience na rin ang mag na maglakbay. Ngayon, every time tayo ay naglalakbay, malamang pinaplano natin yung paglalakbay na yun. Ano? Tinitignan natin anong klaseng paglalakbay ba yung gagawin natin. Kasi, hindi lahat ng paglalakbay o yung journey o yung traveling pare-pareho. Meron yung paglalakbay na uh, kailangan yung, 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 yung mga gamit mo handa para sa pag-akyat ng bundok. Kaya siguro yung mga gears mo kumpleto. Meron kayong parang staff, meron kayong pang pang panghawi ng mga kung ano-ano, meron kang tent, iba-ibang klase. Meron din naman paglalakbay na puporma-porma ka lang, iisi-isi lang. Pagdating mo, papasok ka sa hotel, higa-higa ka lang, pupunta ka sa beach, may mga ganang-ganon, ano? iba-ibang klaseng paglalakbay. Meron din maglalakbay na para ma-enjoy mo yung, 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 yung journey na yon o para ma-experience mo talaga yung ino-offer ng journey na yon ay kailangan mag-travel light na walang masyadong daladala. Kaya minsan, para marating mo yung paroroonan mo, eh, yun, kailangan mo magdiskarga. Kailangan mo magbawas ng mga karga mo. Naalala ko nung kami bumiyahi minsan patungo sa aming mission station sa isang maliit na isla, nabutas yung aming sinasakyan na bangka. Nabutas. Ngayon, para makarating kami sa isla ng buhay, kailangan namin magdiskarga, kailangan namin mag-travel light. Kaya isa-isa, tinignan namin kung ano na pwede namin itapon sa dagat. Sayang, pero kailangan gawin para makarating doon sa paroroonan. Kasi kung hindi, ay lulubog talaga yung bangka namin. Kasama kami doon na lulubog, eh, hindi pa naman ako marunong lumangoy. Kaya talagang diskarga ng diskarga para makarating sa paroroonan. Travel light, ika nga. Na ngayon mga kapatid, ang buhay natin, sinasabi nila parang paglalakbay. It's a journey. Kaya nga, ang, ang tingin ng ating simbahan sa mga buhay-buhay natin, eh, it's a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage to our final destination, to our end. And that is in the bosom and in the presence of our God, in His kingdom. And if you're going to look at our journey you know, as believers, as as, as faithful, as sons and daughters of God, ang ating paglalakbay, parang minumungkahay sa atin, or we are encouraged to travel light. Nang sa gayon, marating natin ang ating paroroonan, and that is eternal life. Kaya nga sa spiritual na buhay natin, kailangan natin mag-travel light o sa mga buhay-buhay natin kung gusto natin marating, marating ang kaharian ng Diyos. Kung titignan natin ang itong ibanghelyo sa araw na ito, parang ito yung minumungkahi sa atin, ano? To travel light. E ano ba yung mga nagpapigat sa paglalakbay natin patungo sa kaharian ng Diyos? What is it that weighs us down that stops us and is a very big hurdle para marating ang ating goal. Ang tinatawag, ang tawag po dyan ni, ni St. Thomas Aquinas, very technical term, concupiscence. Concupiscence. Pero in layman's term, yung mas madali nating maintindihan na term, yung mga sinasabi kong nagpapabigat sa paglalakbay natin, tawag doon Attachments or pwede rin addictions. Attachments or addictions. Sa mga buhay-buhay natin, may mga attachments tayo, may mga addictions tayo na nagpapabigat sa ating paglalakbay patungo sa kaharian ng Diyos. Ano po ba yung mga, ano yung mga attachments na yan, Father? Ano po yung attachments? Anything in this world, anything in this world that somehow makes us say, Kung wala ang mga bagay-bagay na ito, ayaw ko nang mabuhay. Kaya ah, isipin natin, ano ba yung mga bagay-bagay na yun? Ano? Anything in this world. Pwede nga ang buhay natin mismo, yun yung naging attachment natin. Pwede yun. 
Pwede yun. So, anything in this world. But if you're going to ask St. Thomas Aquinas, meron siyang apat na na-identify na sa ating mga tao, ito yung usual na nagiging attachments natin or addictions natin sa mundong ito na nagpapabigat sa paglalakbay natin. Apat. Una, yung uh, power. Power. Pangalawa, riches. Riches. Pangatlo, pleasure. At pangapat, honor or fame. Uh, yung apat na yan, yan daw yung madalas sa ating mga tao na nagpapabigat sa paglalakbay natin na kaya't nahihirapan tayong uh, makarating sa ating paroroonan, sa kariyan ng Diyos. Paano natin masasabing attached na tayo sa mga bagay-bagay na yon? Eh kapag ka, sinasabi natin, kapag ka wala ang mga bagay na yan, ibig sabihin, hindi na ako dapat mabuhay. Or kapag sinasabi natin, kapag ka wala ang apat na bagay na yan sa buhay ko, walang Diyos. Kasi para bagang, ini-equate natin o inahambing natin yung presensya ng Diyos sa buhay natin sa apat na yan. Kapag ka sinasabi natin, wala akong pera, walang Diyos. Kapag sinasabi natin, ang hirap ng buhay ko, walang Diyos. Kapag sinasabi natin, hindi ako sikat, walang Diyos. Ibig sabihin nun, na-attach na tayo sa mga bagay-bagay na yon. Hindi ko naman sinasabing, bitawan natin totally ang mga bagay-bagay na yon. Rather, my take is to channel these things in this world to the service of God. Kapag ka nagagawa natin yon, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo attached sa mga bagay-bagay na yon. Halimbawa, kung tayo'y merong kapangyarihan, ang kapangyarihan na yon, Imbis na to make you feel bloated na ikaw ay makapangyarihan, ang sarap pa naman ng feeling nun, ano? na kapag ka meron kang sinasabi sa isang tao, sinusunod, lahat ng gusto mo nagagawa kasi meron kang kapangyarihan. Kaya nga, pagdating sa election, ang daming gustong malagay sa pwesto kasi marami din talagang, in a way, attached sa kapangyarihan. Forgetting na ang kapangyarihan na ibinibigay ay para sa paglilingkod sa kapwa, sa bayan. Kapag ka nagagamit mo yung kapangyarihan na yon sa paglilingkod sa kapwa, ibig sabihin, hindi ka attach sa kapangyarihan na yon. Pero kapag yung kapangyarihan na yon para lang sa sarili mo, attachment yan. Attachment yan. Ganun ba? Even the riches that we have. Na yung ba tipong mayaman ka nga, hindi ka naman marunong magbigay, binibigay sa'yo ng Diyos ang grasya ng, ng kayamanan, pero hindi ka marunong magbigay sa kapwa mo. That is a corruption of the gift of God. Kasi ang intention lagi ng Diyos sa kanyang biyaya na binibigay sa atin, hindi lang para sa atin, para sa kapwa natin na, na, na nangangailangan. Kaya kapag ka ikaw ay nabigyan ng yaman, magpasalamat sa Diyos. At ang pinakamagandang pasasalamat sa Kanya ay magbahagi sa kapwa, lalong-lalong na sa nangangailangan. Ha? Fame, honor. Ay, Ang dali-daling sumikat ngayon, ano, gumawa ka lang ng viral na video. That's it, you're already famous. But then, you can channel that fame or that honor by being a guide, by being a light to others towards God. Towards God. Yun ang ibig sabihin kapag ka hindi ka attached sa fame or sa honor. Sa aming mga pari, laging sinasabi, sinasabi namin, Nako, kapag ka yung mga parokyano mo, mga parishioners mo, ikaw na yung hinahanap at hindi na ang Diyos, eh, ibig sabihin nun, palpak ka or you are, a, a, a not, you are not an effective priest. 
Kapag ang hinahanap na ng mga tao, ikaw, nasan si Father? Hindi na ang Diyos, palpak ka na pari. Yun yung sinasabi namin. Kaya dapat kapag ka gano'n na yung, yung, yung interaction ng tao sa'yo, lumipat ka na ng simbahan. Start anew. Because instead of, of, of drawing people towards us, our role as Christians is to lead people towards God. Yan nga yung example ng ating mahal na ina eh. Ni Apo Bakit. Ang kanyang tawag, hindi tawag para tayo pumunta sa kanya. Ang tawag niya para tayo pumunta sa anak niya. Kaya nga yung image niya, dala-dala niya lagi yung kanyang anak, ano? Nandyan lagi. Pointing all of us towards her son. And that is also true with, with pleasure, lalong-lalo na. That maganda na makaranas tayo ng pleasure paminsan-minsan sa mga buhay, buhay natin. Pero, hindi rin naman maganda na yun na lang ang hinahanap natin sa buhay natin because we will end up disappointed. Kasi alam naman natin sa buhay natin, it cannot really be na palaging masarap ang nararanasan. Totoo pa rin yung sinasabing mahirap ang buhay. Kahit mayaman ka, kahit makapangyarihan ka, kahit nasikat na sikat ka, nakakaranas ka pa rin talaga ng hirap, hindi ba? Meron pa rin challenges sa buhay natin. Hindi nawawala yan. Hindi nawawala yan. Kahit na mayaman ka, pwede ka magkasakit. Kahit nasikat ka ngayon bukas, hindi ka nasikat. Ang dali lang. O, diba? Meron at meron challenges sa mga buhay natin. But as we face these challenges, we could always channel this as some sort of a sacrifice. Para saan? Para sa iba. Para sa iba. Yung pagbibigay na lamang ng yaman, that is a sacrifice. Diba? Masakit. Parang yung pag-travel light. Parang nung isa-isa naming tinatapon yung mga gamit namin sa dagat, masakit. Nakikita namin yung mga binili naming pang-construction sana ng simbahan. Travel light. Tapon. Para magawa, para marating yung paroroonan. Ay, ganun din yung sakripisyo. Lalong-lalo na pagsasakripisyo para sa iba. Ayun. Ayun. Sino ang modelo natin sa attach sa, sa detachments na yan? Sa, sa travel light na yan? Ayan o, oh, yung cruise. Walang ibang modelo kundi yan. That is traveling light. That is traveling light. Walang yaman, walang kapangyarihan, Walang kasikatan at lalong-lalo na walang pleasure dyan. Pero saan napunta ang krus na yan? After three days, the Lord Jesus Christ rose again from the dead. And He went up to heaven and seated on the right hand of the Father. So if we want to follow His way, we want to go to heaven, the eternal life promised to us. Travel light. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. We now pray to God our Father for the strength to overcome the lure of material wealth and security. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may bear witness to the values of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That wealthy nations may share their resources with the poor nations and not exploit them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians who are living in abundance may learn the wisdom of using their wealth with generous charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may show compassion and care to the elderly, the poor, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the riches of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. And we also pray 
for the intentions of this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear the petitions of your people. May we be nourished by the wisdom of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept our gifts of bread and wine on the feast of our brother Hyacinth as we remember the death of Christ. May we imitate the love we celebrate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Hyacinth, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthened her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace. Lamb, Lamb of, God, of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take Speaking away the, the sins of the world, Jesus have mercy Lord. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus et sanguinis Christi, custodiat me in vitam eterna. May the body and blood of Christ bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Lord, our brother Hyacinth gave his life to the preaching of the gospel. Through this Eucharist, help us to proclaim your good news. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po'y magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte and Eucharistic ministers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakisa sa misang ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ngayon po, pakinggan po natin ang konting announcements para po sa ating kapistahan ngayong uh, October. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will be find available online and other options for donation. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you gave us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.